Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a disassembly for you with this little guy. This is the Spyderco Urban. Um, and of course, my warning, anytime I do a Spyderco, sadly, Spyderco's warranty doesn't allow disassembly. Um, generally, they're okay about it, but, you know, you gotta make sure. Um, my buddy Pete has explicitly said, yeah, go ahead, disassemble it, get it all cleaned up, and so, you know what, I'm gonna take advantage of that. Mostly because I've never taken apart a Spyderco, uh, slip joint sort of knife. So, let's see what that's all about. Uh, first step is always going to be to find the right bit, and you'd think that's something I would do ahead of time off the camera, but alas, I am not necessarily a brilliant man. Uh, T9, maybe? That's really loose. T9 is just a smidge too big. I'm thinking T8 here. The eight. All right. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so the pivot screw was so loose that, uh, yeah, go go figure. Uh, this screw here should be pretty straightforward. The three screw knife, which I appreciate very much, but hopefully it's not hiding crazy dude underneath. There we go. Well, that was tough. Man. Alrighty. Interesting. This little pin is something I'm going to have to remember. Uh, looks like no liners, which is interesting. I'm sorry, not no liners, but no, uh, no washers. Instead of a washer, you can see here that you've got a little plastic prominence here, which is kind of serving the purpose. And I mean, okay, sure, you... You got plastic, you might as well use plastic. One nice thing that I'm noticing here about this guy is that at the closed position, there is no tension on the spring bar, which is going to make life a lot easier putting this back together. So that's good. Um, let's go ahead and find the booze. Take some rubbing alcohol here. Put it onto the paper towel. Use the paper towel to wipe the blade. Beautiful. Go ahead and wipe this off as well. This is going to be a speedy one. And I appreciate that. Some spider coes are a pleasure to disassemble. Some spider coes are a pain in the neck. Most of them, unfortunately, go more towards the pain of the neck side. Because they're not meant to be disassembled, technically speaking. There we go. Pop that loose. And remove the pivot. Why not? Do a complete breakdown here. This is about the only time you want to have a complete breakdown on camera, by the way. Unless you're a reality TV celebrity, in which case that's kind of part of the point. I am not, by the way, a reality TV celebrity. The name is Shabazz rather than Kardashian. Don't have enough junk in the trunk anyways. Alrighty. <clears throat> so, everything looks pretty solid up in here. No problems. We can see here that each one of these little uh, the Chicago screws, sex bolts, whatever you want to call it, is uh, D-shaped. you got a, a pivot on the side there. And these do look to be of subtly different sizes, but I may... Yeah, no, I'm on crack. They're not on... They're not differently sized. Um, but there is a corresponding D-shape on this side of the, uh, the, the scale here. There you go. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop these through one by one and let gravity do the work of disassembling the knife for me, which is not helpful. Oh, gravity. You so crazy. that there. Case closed. Let these two things secure the alignment for that. Bam. Oh, you bugger. Don't you dare. The backspacer, however, is not tapped for a certain D shape on the back screw, but it is on this guy. 
Don't entirely understand that choice, but you know what? Not freaking out about it either. So there's that. That's nice. Uh, let's go ahead and put a pivot inside there. Tolerances are not tight on this guy, I'll say that. I'm not saying that, you know, uh, diminishingly. I think it's just fine for what you're after here. But things rattle around in there. Things pop in and out pretty easily. Asa Benza, this is not. But that's okay. It's a $50 knife. Oh, come on, you little bugger. Oh, that's right. I need to reassemble this with the blade in the closed position where there is no tension. There we go. Perfect. Um, I'm going to play a dangerous game here and try and show you, using this knife open, how the slip joint mechanism works. Basically, when you pull it to the halfway position, this little protuberance jumps into this little uh, sort of gap there, and it stops the blade. And then when you pop it the rest of the way open... This falls in here. This is not a back lock because this little surface here is a contoured surface rather than a, uh, a straightforward one that just drops on in there. And so you can pop it out of there with just a little bit of force and then it stops again at the halfway point, then closes. And you can see here that this is actually a stop pin. This area right here, there's not a pin per se, but this little area touches the inside there and that keeps the blade from hitting, which is nice. So anyways, that's how your Spyderco slip joint works here. Nice, simple, graceful system. Big fan of that. I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit more lubrication here. Come on. Running a little wet, but you know what, that's okay. And I'm also gonna lube the back lock section here um, because that's an area of some pretty serious resistance on occasion. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this back on there. There we go. So this scale has actually got some D-shaped cuts as well, and so what it may need to happen here... I'll pop that out slightly, and then pop that back in again. Hmm, interesting. I may actually need to just use the screw to pull that the rest of the way in there. Um, one thing I want to make sure of is that I'm installing the pocket clip in the right direction because the pocket clip can be flipped around. All you'd need to do is reverse this Chicago screw here and you are all set. Um, and reinstalling the wire clip is a little bit, you know, it's a very low grade or tricky just because you have to get the clip in there and you have to get the screw in there between the threads of the... Of the, the the leaves of the clip, so to speak. This was not Loctited, so I will not Loctite it. Get that tightened down in there. Then just kind of checking conceptually in my mind, is this right now right side carry? Yes, yes it is. There we go, lock that down. I'm gonna go ahead and use this screw to kind of pull the the Chicago screw the rest of the way in. There we go. And it's pulling. Beautiful. Tight enough. No problems. Now let's drop the pivot on in here. I'm really... I'm going to use a little tiny, tiny dab of the Loctite just because it was loose and fallen out previously. This will prevent it from popping out like that. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's nice. No blade play, a little bit of blade play. No blade play, case closed. All right, that's your Spyderco Urban, disassembled and maintained. That was actually surprisingly easy. I'm a big fan of disassembling that knife. I would do that all day, every day. Uh, get boring, but still. Um, compared to some of the other gems, oh, out of Spyderco in terms of disassembly, this, this was pleasant. Big, big fan of disassembling this knife. So, uh, there you go. I hope this was interesting to you. This is a really neat little knife um, in a lot of ways. And uh, be on the lookout for a review of this guy coming up here soon. Hope this was interesting. Have yourselves an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.